everybody. This is super cute, right? I'm staying in um, Cambria on the coast of Central Coast of California. Just rode my motorcycle down from San Francisco last night. I must say, Highway 1, Big Sur is flipping gorgeous. But if, oh shoot, if it's dark, um, it's, uh, yeah, it's sketchy. There's no lights, whatever. There's cliffs. And it's pretty much 10 to 10 for what you don't want to be doing at night. Um, so, anyway, I stopped here. My girlfriend was super sweet. Found this, uh, like, really affordable um, bed and breakfast, I guess you'd call it. This town is, like, beyond gorgeous. I mean, it's just crazy, right? And check this out. You often only see, like when you're cruising down the coast, you only see like, I don't know, what you see from Highway 1, right? And this is right off of, um, off of uh, Highway 1. And I mean, it's like, more of a, like, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not paying, I'm making sense. All right, so when you get off of Highway 1, this is called Main Street, right? Pretty much two streets to know of in, what time is it, Cambridge, yeah. So you got, um, shoot, I didn't bring my wallet, oh well. Anyway, you've got, uh, yeah, um, you got uh, Moonstone Drive, which goes along the water. And uh, you've got um, Main Street. Can I come on Main Street? Yes, yeah, sure. I came in last night, it was dark, it was dark. Kind of weird, getting lost. Like nobody's out, it's COVID and stuff like that, right? Like rolling on a motorcycle looking ragged. Hey, hey, I think I got a room here somewhere. My girlfriend got it for me. I don't know what it's called. All right, so let's go for a ride and see Cambria. I hope I'm going the right way. I don't even think I'm going the right way. The heck am I? I'm lost. I'm freaking out. Send help. We're going to turn around. Where am I? Shoot. This is really weird. A little awkward. A little awkward. <laughs> lost already, and I'm not yet a mile from home. I got to continue down the coast to uh, San Luis Obispo. My dad lives in San Luis Obispo, an absolutely adorable town. If you are looking for adorable, you can find it in San Luis Obispo, California. And uh, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm sitting down that street. All right, now I gotta figure out how to get home. I have on numerous occasions, I know that I wanna brag about this, but, uh, once it was in Japan, once it was in Mexico. Wait, wait a minute, is that where I'm staying? How the heck did I get here? No, I'm staying down that street. Oh my god, I'm not going to be able to find my way home. I'm freaking out. Okay. Yeah, sure enough. All right. So one time in Mexico, uh, I get there, I'd be all, all excited, like, woohoo, Mexico, whatever, right? So I'm stuck. I used to travel with. Rollerblades, inline skates, which back when they were invented, they're like young, fashionable kids are not into rollerblades anymore. But when they were when they were new, this was like a dream come true. I played hockey in Connecticut. I was not very good. Just FYI, it's kind of like you're not like skating as a child. You might have a good shot. You might be able to skate really well on the pond. But once you get up there, it's like. Kevin Sweeney was from Canada. The kid could just skate circles around you, you know what I mean? And, and nice dude, too. He did it politely, <laughs> very, very uh, effectively, right? Anyway, here's the uh, camera where Toronto, right? his sister, gorgeous, adorable, right? I took her to the eighth grade dance. And uh, it was terrifying. She was really cute. And I didn't know how to dance. I didn't even know what, you know, I mean, like I was. Eighth grade, everything's terrible. But uh, she was really sweet. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I get to, I'm, I'm in Mexico. I wonder, I don't know where I was, but anyway, I'm checking. And I, that's when I got uh, walked Oh my God, I'm telling you when the freaking walkman came out, it was crazy. I was on the freaking hockey bus on the way to a hockey game, and Willie Andrews had a freaking walkman, man playing Pink Floyd, and then I put that head set on, and I was just like, oh my God, can this really be happening? This is insane. I think I'm lost again. I don't think I know where I'm going. Well, we'll see, because this town is really cute, and I'm no longer in the cute zone. We'll see. Shoot. Where the heck am I going? Oh, well. All right, so anyway, so I put on a Walkman, and I 
I'm just like freaking mind bender. I'm just like, huh? Huh? Yeah, okay. I'm going the wrong way. I gotta turn around again. Okay. You, <laughs> you see a lot of the same road, but new stories. What could be better? Anyway, I put on the walk, man. I'm just like, this is insane, right? So anyway, I'm like, I gotta get me one of these. And I do. I got me a uh, walk. Highway, it's highway. Why? No, I think I'm going the right way. All right, we'll see. All right. Anyway, um, so I I travel, and I like travel. My dad traveled in international sales, uh, which as a little kid, I figured when you're in international sales, you know, because when I was a little kid, I was into sales too. I was like, you know, you can follow you in your parents' footsteps. So I sold things like rocks, literally. Like I'd call them antiques, door to door. Um, and you know what I mean? <laughs> I know sometimes people look by I'm like, oh, this is very... I, like, I heard what an antique was. I was young, right? And I'm like, and my mom said, and I asked her, like, how old's it got to be to be an antique? She told me roughly like 50 years, maybe, right? I was like, bingo. I got freaking antiques on the... <laughs> I went to the antique rock right? Anyway, so being that, I used to do my, my business door to door. And my dad did this international. Um, it occurred to me that they must have a really big door. So I pictured like the door had a big knocker on it, right? Oh, shoot, my finger's in the way. Anyway, must have a really big knocker. Like you go to the door, and my dad was in flexible packaging, which in my my world meant boxes. He sold boxes, right? Uh, so I figured he, like I could picture him in a suit. This is where I get gas. I go to the... To the I, would you call it local? I don't know what you call it. I like places like that. Anyway. Alright, I went the right way. Yay, Mickey. So, a picture. Here he is in his suit with like a briefcase full of boxes at the door of Germany with a freaking big like knocker. Like, in, you know, I, don't, I, I, I couldn't quite picture who would answer German, Germany's door. But, you know, then you get out your boxes. So I've got some very nice boxes that you might like to you know, buy, <laughs> and your day is done, right? He was gone a lot. I figured that must have been a long conversation. You know, he was in Brazil and Japan. But anyway, back to uh, getting lost and not knowing your way home. So, um, thank you. Oh, yeah. So, so him traveling always made me, you know, like curious, interested. Um, not just interested in, you know, door to door sales, but uh, traveling, right? So, as I grow up, I travel a lot, right? Uh, anyway, I, uh, oh yeah, what did I do? Oh yeah, yeah, so I'm in Mexico, and I freaking check in to the sketchiest, cheapest hotel I could get. I still don't like staying in fancy places by myself. I don't like staying in fancy places at all, to be honest with you. I prefer to wake up in a hammock with the locals, but different story. So I check in, right? And I get on my freaking rollerblades, right? Put on my music. Shit, my freaking skateboard is running out of energy. No! Bummer, man. I don't know what to do about this. I mean, I put thousands of miles on this thing, so maybe that's on yeah. Um, This is Highway 1, among the most beautiful roads in the world. I mean, honestly, I can't emphasize how freaking gorgeous this is. Am I going to get out of here? You're really oh shoot, sorry dude. My bad. This dude's just like, come on man, freaking skateboarding, talking, going in like head flick the hand. And then the light turned out and turned the wrong way. Unfortunately, it's cool. Anyway, so here I am in Mexico, right? And I check in, put on my freaking roller blades, and I'm telling you, when those were new, it was like seeing them. Spaceship. You could ice skate it around Paris, um, Malaysia. Like this is early '80s, and this stuff was like, um, and you could go to the sketchiest zone, and people were just like, and like honestly, you can't describe how insane it would be to see somebody floating down the street. Like this is commonplace now, but back in the '80s, this was just like, I mean, you got to remember. I'm I, I was around when like the skateboard was flipping and vented, you know what I mean? I used to fall down on those things a lot. Or made to, whatever. Anyway, so here I am 
in Mexico, put on my flippy tunes, and I would just get just like, just skate through town, and like everybody wanted to freaking know what you were about, right? So you met all kinds of friends, it was just fun, and it was exercise, and with the music on, you can almost like dance, no, you can't, like, you know, like when you're like skiing with um, uh, music on, snowboarding with like classical, it's kind of sick, I'm serious, it sounds crazy. But you know, you just freaking the, like the climactic hits on freaking like, like it's insane. Especially the powder, you can freaking power turn into powder and make your visibility disappear entirely. Not that that's a good thing, but it's exciting if you're on a steep downhill and you like and you need to, you know, you got to punch through the cloud of powder you just threw up in the air. It's kind of fun. All right, I don't want to get stupid, but trust me, it's fun. Anyway, um, so here I am in Mexico, right? And um, morning. And uh, I check in to my uh, little sketchy zone, right? And I go to skate, right? Now, the thing is, now check this out. This is legit. This is important. If you're going to do this, if you're going to go back in time and skate around Mexico in the 80s, you remember where you stayed because of the flower shop, there's the market, blah, 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 right? At night, what happens is all the flowers go away and the gates come down and it looks entirely different. And you're like, oh man, all my markers disappeared, right? So, you're like, I don't know where I'm staying anymore. And it's some little sketch zone that probably doesn't have a name anyway, right? So, I get back, now, that time was gnarly, man. So I get back and I go to the door that I'm pretty sure it's locked. And the guy's like, go away. I'm like, all right, well, I'm gonna place. So I skate all flipping night long, right in the morning, Shop opens up. I go to the same flipping door. I'm like, dude, I came by earlier to get in my flipping room. He's like, sorry, man. I thought you were just some sketchy dude. Um, and so, uh, sure enough, I had gone to the right door and uh, he turned me away. Whatever. Honestly, dude. And in Japan, that happened one night. Now, Japan, I think I slept under a bridge along a river. But in Japan, in the 90s, you could, I mean, it was. Amazing. I don't know what it's like now. I haven't been back there a long time. I, I studied as an apprentice to a landscape architect in Kyoto, Japan. Beautiful place. I mean, the, the, the life was challenging. It's work life. Whatever. But anyway, uh, so in Japan, I can't remember what happened. I don't know what happened. I don't recall. I think maybe I just missed three. I don't know. One way or another. That it was uh, uh, for the night. Now there's no homeless in Japan. There might be some. Not really, right? And if there are, they're like really nice and generous and whatever. So I'm trying to remember. I did it for my part. You can just skate all night and explore. You know what I mean? There's no sense in like getting miserable about it. You're out for the night. You got resources. You know what I mean? The problem with the electric skateboard is the battery goes down. Road goes. Battery's dead now. I'm gonna be freaking walking back. I think this concludes our tour, people. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get home without working too hard. I don't know. Call me lazy. So this is Moonstone, Moonstone Beach. Uh I mean Moonstone Drive. The, okay, okay, quick summary. Bunch of cute little uh beachfront Airbnb breakfast, whatever you want to call it, right? You can walk along the water. Surf gets good here. Uh, in, in proximity is um, Hearth Castle, which uh, I think is actually really entertaining. I had this uh, advice for you youngsters, right? For some reason, as you're growing up, you know, when you're a little kid, you got to go wherever you go, wherever your parents take you, right? Then you get a little older and you can get to develop your own opinions, right? Um, try and go easy on your opinions, right? Because uh, it's really easy to like, you get really opinionated. You got these strong convictions about irrelevant things. And uh, like, case in point, right? Hearst Castle, like, man, man, I got into that. So, I liked her for like 20 years before I went to Hearst Castle. I don't know why I didn't think I was into it. Maybe I was too elitist. I lived in Europe, went to the real castle. I have no idea what my flipping issue was. But, my advice, try not to have issues. Oh man, I wonder how long my flipping clown was turned off. I wonder if it was turned off. I just saw a battery dying picture. 
might have missed some of my ribbons. I will uh, do my best to remedy that. How cute are these places, right? I just happen to be really fortunate, have, like, like just really, you know, like a really fantastic, not only a great mother, but a really nice relationship with her. You know what I mean? There are circumstances um, which uh, don't always, aren't always conducive to uh, being able to appreciate the people that you, you know, are around. My mother and I didn't have no problem. Uh, and the. Um, she did is uh, she got yeah, welcome to California. I'm trying to think. I guess I lived here first. Whatever. Anyway, she got my uh, girlfriend, maybe wife at the time. I can't remember. A uh, place here. Just because, you know, I, I think you guys would enjoy that. And uh, reason that fun. Like, thanks, Mom. She was the best. Way of breaking in the corner. Alright, um. Be cruising by. Yeah, there's elephant seals around here. There are. Um... Oh, I'm not surfing. This is really fascinating. Very exciting, right? I spent the last like I don't know 20 years surfing, pretty much every day, right? Uh, and everything. I mean, I don't know. Everything's got its place. I can't believe my freaking battery's dead. No flipping way. Like I got a long way to flipping. This is what I do for you, the dedication of uh, me desperately trying to get attention, whatever. Um, shit, I can't believe this. <laughs> Poor planning, Terry. Um, I can't remember. Yeah, I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I surfed like pretty much every day for the last 20 years, right? And, uh, I had a lot of fun. Well, so a lot of those days wasn't necessarily so much of a choice. Um, fairly energetic individual. And uh, yeah, you know what? Here's what I find uncomfortable about that, right? Um, when you're a little kid, adrenaline junkie, well, that's cool, man. And if you're older, you kind of, uh, you kind of don't like that term so much. It sounds like you're trying to be 12, you know? I was thinking about it recently. A friend of mine just died. I found out yesterday morning. It's a total bummer, man. He was always in the water. And uh, a lot of people who died like a certain friend. We used to serve four coins together. I go and get rich. Just he and I sometimes, early pandemic, everything quick shut down, just me and her room. It was sick, it was insane, right? But the best time, oh my god, it was like a pandemic dream. This is a place that's typically really crowded. So the idea of just me and my, like, he's just a cool guy. The cat was just cool, right? Just he and I, like, on a flipping carousel, wave after wave, and the surf was in. Oh man, I don't want to go on about it. But it was a flipping dream, man. Anyway, he hit a rock. And, uh,. Yeah, he died. Anyway, I, 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 you know, I, I, like, rest in peace, beautiful person. I was, I'm, like, really honored to have him as a friend. Uh, but, where was I going with this? Oh, surfing all the time, right? Adrenaline junkie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check this out, right? An adrenaline junkie, too? Sounds like really, I don't know, it's freaking pretty desperate and lame at my age, right? But, um, the, uh, it occurs to me, there is a certain amount of truth to that, right? And here's what's up. Uh, certain people have a slightly elevated level of adrenaline. So, it's not like I'm searching for something to spike my flipping adrenaline. I wake up that way, which is not always nice. I mean, shit, I get up early, right? When I wake up, I'm up. And that's not all bad. But 
the can, I mean, it's great. You're climbing a flipping mountain. Flipping awesome, right? And often I just wake up and go surfing. I think I drove everybody flipping nuts early pandemic because uh, surf is good. I surfed all the time. Like before the sun's up, you know what I mean? Like uh, freaking off and waking everybody up, whatever, right? Anyway, uh, the, uh, the issue is that um, if you don't have something to do with that adrenaline, it can be, um, uh, it can manifest in stress. Yeah, let's just call it what it is. That's really what, what, what happens, right? You end up being, um, uh, you end up being stressed. And, um, you know, there's, you know, those people that you have a hard time talking to always seem to be like in a rush. Like, kind of might be another sort of high adrenaline type person. Great to do stuff with. But, like, you know, hanging out. I can assure you, you've never watched a football game with me. Because I can't do it. Be nice. I'm serious. It would be nice. I, you know, I'm like reading a book. A buddy of mine wrote me, uh, sent me a book he wrote the other day. How embarrassing is it to be like, dude, thank you very much, but I can't sit still. I mean, it's, honestly, it's freaking humiliating. I mean, now don't get me wrong. I've surfed and traveled and climbed mountains explored rivers all over the flipping world and I've had a really good time but um, the uh, challenges are significant as well you know I mean everybody's got their challenges I suppose waking up isn't one of mine all right I'm gonna have to put down this phone and start kicking the skateboard I hope you guys have a fantastic day it's Christmas Eve with love from Cambria that's Terry signing off